Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm just gonna go over some of the tools to modify your 2D geometry. Uh, let's just uh, straighten this out. Okay, so we're gonna go over the fillet tool, and it's it's very simple. You just click it and click the next two lines that you wanna fillet. You wanna fillet. I'm gonna say fillet because it's easier to say and it's more fun to say. So, so that's how you that's how you fillet lines. You just select the two lines you want to fillet, and you fillet them, and that's that. Uh, you can't fillet lines that have already been filleted. Apparently, let's try that. Uh, <laughs> see, it, it gave us a second radius, but it did, it didn't really do anything. Um, and and that's around. And to uh, control the dimensions, you turn on the dimensions. If you have mob. And double click the dimensions and now you can do this if you're double clicking the dimensions and you're not able to still modify it that means you're still in the fillet tool so I want you to just hit escape and then you'll be out of the fillet tool and double click the dimensions now and something like this should happen and you can change it now to a bigger thing and that's how that looks like so let's go over chamfer now we're gonna chamfer lines and that's how you chamfer lines it's the same thing as fillet, except it's a, it's a straight line cut. It's it's very very simple stuff. And then we have text. Once you click text, there's going to be a little dot, and then from here, essentially, you're deciding the font. So you can have a font this small, and then you can type things in like this, and then you have you see right there some 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 nice uh, text. Uh, you can modify all this stuff. I'm not going to go over this. This is just aesthetics. Um, but that's that. So we got our fillet, chamfer, and text. Uh, while we're at it, let's let's go over um, uh, offset. Uh, we can click offset and select symbol single line, and you know we can offset a single line 0.5 inches. It's going to make that exact line 0.5 inches uh, down, and we can make loops again and 0.5 and this time it took the entire geometry and you know offset it that's and, and, and here's the thing it doesn't just uh, offset and uh, doesn't connect it it takes the entire loop as it's connected and moves it forward so it, it's gonna say remain connected it's just gonna make bigger versions uh, versions of the original geometry and oh my god so that's that's that that's that's how you use fillet, fillet, uh, chamfer, hex, and offset. Thinking, uh, I don't really, I'm not gonna pretend to know what that is. I'm sure that it's something useful. Let's just figure it out. Is that is that 3D? Did I do 3D? That's not 3D yet. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's just close it. We don't need to worry about that. I've never used it. Um, I'm sure there's something. Uh, that it's useful for, but for now, let's just call it quits. Um, uh, but I guess I should review a little bit. Uh, we know how to do 2D geometry now using these tools. We know how to do it precisely. We know how to do references. We know how to make 2D geometry anywhere in the grid, and we can control where it is by using construction mode. Um, we know how to manage our directories. So now we're going to move on to. Uh, uh, something uh, called uh, extrusions or making actual 3d parts uh, let's let's get to that uh, in the next video I mean <laughs>